Did you know when you add a transition using the Add Clip menu in LumaFusion, the transition that's applied depends on where your playhead is positioned. Here's how it works. If the playhead is positioned directly on a cut between two clips, LumaFusion automatically adds a cross dissolve. If you see a cannot insert transition warning, head to help in settings, preferences, and toggle on ripple main track for transition insert. With this preference on, when there's not enough media to extend through a transition, the clip will be trimmed shorter to make frames available. That means clips later on the timeline will come earlier than they did before. Now let's look at what happens when the playhead is placed within a clip. If the playhead is at the very beginning of the timeline or at the start of an overlay clip, a fade up transition is added. If the playhead is at the end of the timeline or at the end of an overlay clip, a fade down transition is added. If the playhead is within the first half of a selected clip, LumaFusion adds a fade up from the start of that clip to the playhead. And if the playhead is within the second half of a selected clip, a fade down is added from the playhead to the end of the clip. Once you understand how the playhead position affects transitions, adding them becomes fast and predictable. Now you know. Happy editing.